In this video, we'll show you how to extract both author results and all authors' publications. To get started, head over to SERP API Playground and make sure you're on the Google Scholar Author API. Here you'll see available search parameters that SERP API provides along with the search query. Keep in mind that a search query could be an array of author IDs over which you can iterate and pass to the author ID parameter. To get author data, we'll be accessing the author dictionary key. And to access publications data, we'll access the article's dictionary key which contains data about individual publication. To paginate to the next page, we'll be accessing the SERP API pagination dictionary key, which contains data used to paginate to the next page. Don't forget to use the export to code playground feature that generates boilerplate code for you. Now to the actual code. In this case, there's a dictionary structure that was created beforehand to store author data and publications data separately. You can make it even more structured. Next, we're updating the author data dictionary key and creating a new one with the name you want and passing extracted data from SERP API. To extract all publications from an author profile, we need to create a while loop and add the get dictionary method one more time, which now will be used to extract publications data only. Then we append extracted data to the author's article's dictionary key. And finally, we need to check if the next page is present, and if present, update to the next page. Otherwise, exit the while loop and proceed to the next code, which in this case is saving to a CSV file using pandas. All we have to do is to convert extracted data to pandas data frame and call to CSV function which will save data to CSV. This file name will output the author name and concatenate it with the rest of the CSV file name. Now let's compare extracted results with actual results in the browser to make sure that extracted data is indeed the right data. As you can see, the data is identical, which is a great thing and we can call it a successful mission. If you have any questions, drop us a comment in the comments section, or reach out to us on Twitter or GitHub.